Hello everybody, happy Halloween. Our next camera is the Vivitar XC3. It's another M42 mount camera uh, made for Vivitar in 1978 by Cosina. Has through the lens center weighted metering. Uh, it just runs the meter to let you know if you're over or under. It shows you that in the viewfinder with three LEDs. Uh, the one to the photographer's left is actually overexposure, it's pointing up. And then underexposure is on the right. And there's a green LED in the middle that tells you you've got good exposure. If it lights up both the red ones, it's telling you that the scene is outside the metering capability of the camera. It doesn't do open aperture metering. It's metered manual. Um, but it needs batteries and the metering activates with a half press. Stopping down is pretty loud. You hear that thunk and that sets the, uh, the lens to your set aperture. I thought that this was a depth of field preview button but it's not. What it is is if you've already committed to a half press but you need to recompose so you need the aperture wide open again to refocus or something. It actually is a depth of field release. Um, so that's kind of cool, a little bit odd. It has a horizontally traveling cloth shutter. Uh, it's good for four seconds to a thousandth of a second. It has one manual speed, a fiftieth of a second. It's labeled M, and that's separate from the sync speed, which is a sixtieth which is electronically controlled. So it's an odd bulb. Bulb also requires battery with this guy, batteries with this guy. It does take uh, common batteries, takes two uh, 1.5 volt batteries. We've got some cheap LR44s in here right now. Uh, one thing notable about this camera, I didn't get it, but there was a, a converter called an XCA, had its own battery and it sat over the shutter dial and turned this into aperture priority. The camera body through this coax cable right here, the top one is for that adapter. It actually had a little motor that would change the shutter speed.